Congratulations, you have unlocked Jade Master Mode. The master button in the character selection screen when starting a new campaign will now be enabled. Silk Fox, through the credibility of her family, was understandably marred by the actions of her father and uncle. Princess Sun Leon emerged from the incident with a newfound credibility that easily secured her claim to the throne. This was thanks in no small part to keeping Pitching Ace very closely at hand. He was welcomed as her companion, eventually as Emperor at her side. Together they would rule over a new golden age that seemed like it would never end. That almost sounds like a sequel. What is in order? Okay, Dawn Star. This is this is the way this is the way that it happens that if you uh, open palm, you romance both of them at the same time. The defeat of Sun Li signaled a new beginning for the Jade Empire and a personal awakening in Dawnstar. Despite the loss of the master she thought she knew, with the restoration of the natural order, the Empire's, Empire seemed alive with possibility. She had seen the heart of the land in turmoil, so she retraced her steps, replacing memories of destruction with sights of renewal. Soon she found herself back in the ruin of two rivers. It was painful, but she took comfort in knowing that the fish were abundant and the land remained fertile. Even eventually new settlers would come. She replanted her garden, a flower for each of her lost friends, and set out across the empire once more. Sky. Drastic shifts in powers always create political and economic turbulence. In the years following the defeat of Emperor Sun Li, however, things were remarkably calm. With food supplies reaching the poor and imperial control of areas abandoned to near lawlessness quickly restored, those who were credit the smooth transition to the aid of a group called the Guild. Working under some mysterious imperial sanction, the Guild's agent moved supplies quickly to those in need, needed them most, and helped the imperial pinpoint the camps of bandit leaders and others who threatened imperial control. While the guild faded from sight as peace was restored, stories persisted. Most stories recounted the exploits of this mysterious organization's dashing new leader, Sky. His ready smile, endless energy, and kindness quickly made him a legend among the common people. That's so cool. Henpex, whose wife finally tracked him down and brought him in back home to settle back into the simple one master's life, a few years later became a father for the first time, though having septuplets at his age was not unheard of. Having seven daughters at once was a, a bit peculiar. Shortly thereafter, Hu became deathly ill after accidentally eating a bun he intended to give to his wife. Hu's wife invited her entire family to live with them while he was bedridden. Who recovered more quickly than expected, but word of his poisonous bun made sure that his career as a bun maker was over. Instead, who became a delivery man, delivering packages throughout the empire. He has yet to return from his first delivery. Oh my gosh. Love Bioware. That was funny. Wildflower. The will of the heavens was fulfilled. The heart of the water dragon was restored and her soul reborn. Balance returned to the heavens and the Jade Empire endured. His duty discharged, Chai Ka, the heavenly gate guardian, returned to his heaven once more. In honor of her service to the heavens, the girl Wildflower, whom Chai Ka has raised to serve as his anchor, was granted the most precious gift of all, life. She was given a chance to live a new life according to her own whim. Kang. So after Sun Li's defeat, Kang the Mad enjoyed actual public appreciation for his devices. It was brief, however, and as the Empire returned to peace, his machines once more became the greatest identifiable threat to the common good. His flyers grew faster and more durable, the driving force often an angry mob hurling ever larger stones. When last seen, Kang was boarding an alarming bare-bones device he had dubbed the Celestial Rocker, Rocket Chair. While it allowed him to evade his latest pursuers, the launch also left a crater that suggested the escape was more permanent than he might have pl planned. Despite this, on each anniversary of their victory, Pitching Ace 88 would find a fantastic new machine on his do doorstep, seemingly appearing out of nowhere. Aww. The Black Whirlwind accepted a job hunting demons for the celestial bureaucracy, but the ensuing red tape frustrated him so much that he gave up and made for the mysterious east. Shortly thereafter, the Empire received a great influx of outlanders, many of whom were missing limbs and other body, body parts. He returned to the Jade Empire several years later, but this time he came from the West. He couldn't explain how he did it, but he was the only person unsurprised to arrive back where he started, expressing a newfound hatred for a people who couldn't make a decent bowl of wine. The Black Whirlwind vowed to never again leave the Jade Empire. A week later, he got bored and headed off to the North. Oh gosh, Sir Roderick von Fontobottom, the Magnificent Bastard, left the Jade Empire a broken man. 
His skills had fa failed him at the moment of his greatest import, and he found it difficult to stomach his defeat despite his grand capacity. Surely he had not lost as badly as he thought. Surely there was some explanation. Surely he still had something to teach this barbaric land. After much soul-searching, he traded his last pair of pantaloons for passage to the prosperous east, and he began a long journey home. It is said he eventually discovered the fountain of Kuth, and is now virtually unflappable. That, or he was accidentally killed by the black whirlwind, it is hard to say. People seem to lose interest. As for Percival, he tired of being called Shirley and returned to his village. Alright, well this was produced by Bioware. Thank you, Bioware. Alright, man, so this concludes um, this magnificent game. I went through it open palm did the best of my abilities in terms of uh, being a good guy. Tried to do almost every side quest that I could uh, muster up. So, special thanks to all these people. Um, I would totally be okay with them doing a Jade Empire 2. I would probably be the first to play it, buy it right on the day that it came, comes out. This music is somewhat loud, I do have to say. Um, but anyways, at the end of this credits you will be seeing the uh, love scene between me and Dawnstar, and also me and Silk Fox separately. Uh, I know we do it together, I knew in the the way that I did it, we did it together, um, and it, 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 the ending is a little different if you've romanced Dawnstar, I do know that, in terms of the script, but I'm not sure if I want to, if I want to replay that last hour and a half. Uh, good job with the writers, I do have to say. Just, just an amazing game. Um, replaying this, I've got to say that Knights of the Old Republic is still my favorite uh, RP, like RPG game. Uh, but this one is a close second. Um, oh, and then I got Mass Effect. Man, did they make it really tough. Um, I'd have to say probably KOTOR, this, and then Mass Effect 2. Um, and then like Mass Effect 1, and then KOTOR. Two. Uh, Mass Effect 2 is really great, but uh, there's nothing about playing this game. I mean, you play this game, it is tough, and you get into the characters. At least I do. I get really into this game. This music is extremely loud. I want to decrease it a little bit. Oh, look at all these voice actors. That's impressive. And like I said, the audio is gone, because we are almost done. I would like to showcase that little bit. Let's check this out. Let's check out the main screen. Okay, look at that. You got Dirge as the main background. So you can do a new game. Monks in. Oh, I can do master. Oh, you can you can um, you can import a character and play again. Oh, very very cool. Okay, so um, play mini games. Oh, a lot of these are locked. I wonder why they're locked. Probably because I had to reinstall this because of some technical difficulties. Anyways, um, this has been Pitching Ace 88. I hope you enjoy the uh, scenes that are going to be coming up. Uh, this has been Pitching Ace 88. I will see you all next time. Over and out.